in the past month. It's actually been a month and a week since my last confession. No, my last um, <laughs> my last my my big top actually. So and my last video. So I just wanted to share with the world my hair, my progress. Uh, some reactions that I've, I've received and what I'm actually putting on it in it if you guys care <laughs> so um, from the video that you saw where I chopped it all off I did it all myself and then the next day I went to the hairdresser and had um, them cut off some of the relaxants that I still had on it so it was actually pretty short it was like half this you know so I have it has grown pretty long um, I still have some relaxants at the top, only because I like to do this little, not a pompadour, but you see how it's a little elevated, it gives me a little bit of a shade, that way it's just not a big circle, you know, like a boy, so I have a little texture to it, and sometimes I spike it up, you know, from time to time, however I'm feeling, so, and, um, so let me do my little hair shot of how long it is, isn't that what you're supposed to do? As you can tell, I'm not. <laughs> I've watched a lot of videos, but I haven't done many myself. So, and of course, I didn't do this when I first cut it, so I should have, so you can see the difference. But that's where it is now. So it looks like it's right at the bottom of my earlobe. So we'll see in a month how far it's grown. Um, it's so much fun. It's curly. I have a whole new style to me. I feel like I feel like I'm a whole different person. My, the same clothes I've been wearing before my chop looks so different on me now. It's it's striking. It's a striking look. And you have to have confidence to pull it off because I do know a couple people that have cut their hair, you know, after I did. And it just is not working for them. And I know the, the cut, the look doesn't look the same on everybody's face. You know, if you have a round face, long face. But you really have to rock it with confidence regardless of how you think it looks. If you're confident in it, if you love it, everybody else will. So I think that's the difference. And I'm I'm happy that I'm happy the way it looks on me. And then I'm happy that I also have this confidence to rock it, you know? So I say to anyone that cuts their hair, rock it with confidence. Even if you hate it, rock it with confidence, you know, because you will come to love it. I really do believe that. So I wanted to share what I'm putting in it. I tried everything, Kinky Curly Custer, Not Today, Garnier Fruities, Organic Roots. I've tried everything under the sun. I have, you see the products I have in my bathroom. It's nuts. I need to start giving them away. It's Christmas time. Maybe I should just add a shampoo or a conditioner in with everybody's gift because I have enough to go around. It's, it's pretty sad. However, ironically enough, the best product that works for me is something that I've made myself, of course. And it's this shea butter mixture. Hope you can see that. Oh, whoa, whoa, too bright, too bright. Let me pull it back some. Ooh, this lighting is horrible. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's like a whip. It's nice. It's wonderful. It's shea butter, olive oil. And I have this hot oil, this hot six oil thing that I bought from African Royale. And I get it from Sally's. And it's great because, check out the ingredients. Olive oil, canola oil, wheat germ oil, sweet almond oil, safflower oil, castor oil, sesame oil, vitamins E, A, and D, um, sheep sorrel. I wanted to say masaro. You know the drink when you, I'm, I'm Muslim Indian, so we drink so, this thing, drink called saro. Anyway, um, yarrow, slippery, elm bark, sage, henna, comfrey, burdock root, ginseng, ginseng, excuse me, golden seal, cherry bark, black walnut, chamomile, alfalfa? Alfalfa? What's alfalfa doing here? I'm sorry. Hyssop, wheat germ, and fragrance. So, and it's a lot of those oils that you buy, you know, individually, like the sweet almond oil, sapphire oil, castor oil, sesame oil, vitamin E. Why buy all that when you can have something that has it all in there? And I think this thing costs me like four or five bucks. And it's great. And it smells so good. I'm like, mmm, so good. There's some on my hands, so I'm going to rub it in my, my head and on my body because you can use it on your skin. And also, so I have extra. Um, 
shea butter, unrefined, extra virgin olive oil, some of that hot oil stuff that I just mentioned to you, um, tea tree oil, honey, and emu oil. Emu is supposed to help your hair grow and it's supposed to be like a miracle oil for wounds and cuts and scars. So I put some in there and it comes from the, the emu which is very similar to the ostrich in my opinion. It looks like but and I have a whipping attachment on my food processor and I just whip it up really well and it's so creamy and it's so soft and you can see there's a bit on my hands. Oh, this lighting is horrible. There's some on my hands. Okay. Put on my hands. I I just rubbed like and it's already melted. It's the best. It's the best. Woo -hoo. Just stick it in there. You can never have too much of this stuff in my opinion. So even I just put some on. And I just rub it in. And it's I put it on my hair when it's dripping wet. When I come out of the shower. And it's great. And I put it on my skin. I rub it all over my body. It's the best. I've had, not only have I had compliments on my hair, but on my skin a lot lately. And it's because I feel like I've been putting more, just, just only natural ingredients on my skin and in my hair. So it's been great. And of course, I take very good care of my body. No, I try to take very good care of my body. <laughs> From time to time, I slip up and I have fast food every now and then. Ugh. Actually, I really get sick after I eat fast food now, so I try to stay away from it. But sometimes when I have no option, if I don't have an apple with me or something healthy, I'll slip up. But I tell you, it's been great. Um, just going to the gym, I go and um, I'm so excited. I go to the sauna once a week now. And that was hard before when you have relaxed hair because the sauna is just sweating it out, you know, and... Now that I wet my hair every day, I don't care if it's sweat out. And, and it's good for your body and it's good for your pores. So I go to the sauna, I go to the steam room after a workout. It's the best. It's the best. Wash and go. I'm going to grow it out. I don't plan on keeping it short. I, although I hair, once you have your hair short and you like it, you're probably not going to let it grow back out. But I think I'm going to let it grow because I'm really curious to see the length that I will gain and how it will look once it's pretty long. So excited about that so I'm gonna keep it so just wanted to share with you my update it definitely has grown a lot since I am um, big chop a month and a week ago so just wanted to share that with you all and maybe give you guys some texture shots if you could see that now I'll put the, the light back on it's it's a big mixture of everything <laughs> but it's very curly in the roots it's so funny hope you could see that I guess I could zoom in. I'm not good at this stuff. But it's really curling the roots and ooh, ooh. <laughs> and um let me just kind of show the side. It's not as it's definitely curly back there, but it's not as long because I kinda have a paper look. And um so that's it. That's me. This light is bright. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I only have one subscriber, but it's still fun to see that somebody's interested in my progress and interested in in um, my journey, you know. So, and it's been a great journey. I've been very encouraged by everybody else's videos and and by some of the comments that I've received from my Big Chop video. I look crazy. If you haven't seen it, check out my Big Chop video because <laughs> it was just for the moment. I just couldn't take the two textures anymore and I did it. So even though I transitioned for about four months, I um, it still was a big shock just to see my natural hair and just to have short. So I actually had to cut the video off because I was, you know, got a little emotional. But I'm over it and I'm happy with it and so thrilled that I did it. Wish I did it, done it sooner. But... Um, again, buying all those products, I recommend not to do. And I wish I would have. A lot of, I guess, girls go through the same thing, which I've seen on some of the videos after I bought all my products. But you kind of have to know what works well for you. I have no idea what type of texture I have, nor do I care to know. It's really what works for me. So right now it's this concoction that I made that I love. And I'm sure there's something else out there that's better that I don't have to make. So... But it, it's working for right now, so I'm going to use that. Stick to that. And that's all, folks. So let me know what you think. And if you have any 
other suggestions. I can't wait till I do my afro. I'm really looking forward to blowing it out. It's pretty long. So I guess I can do an afro. It'll be about that big, I guess. Woohoo! <laughs> but I don't want to put heat on it. I don't want to damage any of my hard work. It's been five months, so I don't want to put heat on my hair. Why would I do that? I don't know. I'm afraid, but I really want to get an afro, though. Rock an afro. That's the dance I'm going to do when I have my afro. I'm like, hey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Enough, enough. Okay, so I'm done. Talk to you guys later. I will check in in a month to let you know my progress. So one more time. Oops, this side. This is where it's at. Bottom of my earlobe. In a month, we'll see the progress. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.